what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mark and I'm back at it again with another YouTube video. Now today is actually day one of the 75 hard challenge. Um, it is currently 920 May 25th. It's day one, so 60, what, 60? So 74 days to go uh, and this day just is getting started. So we're about to go hit the gym for our first workout of the day. And then after that, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna explain to y'all the book I got to read for these next 75 days, which if you read 10 pages a day, I'll be done with the book before halfway. So I'll have to pick up another book, which is no problem because I actually enjoy reading books like the ones I got. So I'm gonna show you the book I got and then we have to cook. And we also have to run to the store to get more food to cook as well if we're gonna stick to this diet and do everything like that. So today's day one. Um, I didn't start until today because of the fact that I need to get everything ready kinda. I was gonna go grocery shopping and do everything like that, but I wanted to bring y'all along. So today, if I'm gonna go grocery shopping, I know what I wanna get, I know what I wanna eat and know what I wanna stick to. Um, and then I'm gonna run through everything that I'm sticking, sticking to with my 75 hard, like um, the diet, how I'm gonna eat healthier, what I'm gonna stick to, what I'm gonna eat, um, what else? Uh, the workouts, um, the book I'm reading, how I'm gonna film every single day. Um, and then the, like the 30 minutes to an hour I put aside every single day to go towards my own business or my own work. So I'm gonna explain everything that, I'm gonna explain all that to you guys. I'm gonna show y'all what's going on with the day. But right now, we're about to go hit a workout and go from there, no cap. Just a calm little calisthenics workout. And I think my next workout for the day, the outside one is gonna be a run. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna figure it out. So let's head to the gym, no cap. So YouTube, I'm back at the crib now. It was a nice little workout, nothing too crazy. Now it is currently 10.20 on the dot. Uh, I'm about to whip up some breakfast. It was a cool little hour workout, I wanna say. I think it was an hour, or maybe like 45 minutes, or whatever, just calm calisthenics. Um, I did four sets, no, yeah, four sets of what I can do, like what I'm, I know I'm, uh, reps that I'm able to hit. It might, I might struggle with the last one, but I'm able to hit it. And then on the last rep, I did five, so five sets total but four of them were ones that I know I could hit, like uh, 10 push-ups, uh, 50 of the Russian twist, uh, 10 sit-up things, uh, five push pull-ups, um, so, so th things like that. And then on the last set, it was everything till failure, so until I can't go no more. So I did like 30 push-ups. Um, literally on the last push-up, I am like can't get up. That's how bad it was. And then like 70 Russian twist, I dropped the ball and did 20 more, certain things like that. So uh, four, of reps I can I know I can hit and then the last set is just off till failure um, I don't know if that's the best way to do it I don't know if that's a good way to do it. I don't know if I could do every set till failure or whatever but that's just the way I did it today obviously I can get better in workouts and so on and so forth um, as I go on but you know what I'm saying first though workout of 75 hard I don't know why exactly let me set y'all up still hold y'all I don't know why exactly, but I do get like a little, not dizzy, but like, like, like I feel a little weird right now. And it happens every single time after I work out. Not every single time after I work out, but it happens um, a decent amount of times. Not just after I work out, but after I do certain types of things. I, I like saying that a lot. I don't know why. I, I hear myself saying that word a lot and repeating the same words, but it does happen a lot. Um, I think it might be because I don't drink enough water or because I eat too much junk food. You know what I'm saying? Like, because last night for dinner, I ate junk food, you know? So hopefully cutting that out helps me feel a lot better. I think I need to eat more fruit and vegetables and things like that. But yeah, 
just a little update. But let me show y'all the book I am reading. So give me one second. So this is the book I am going to be reading for the challenge. Um, not even the challenge. I'm gonna stop saying the challenge. This is um, the book I'm gonna be reading for the next couple of days. Um, it's called The Four Hour Work Week, as you can see if you could read, or if you're a dumb nigga and can't read, then I just write it for you. But it's called The Four Hour Work Week, and basically, I'll read y'all the back of the book real quick, right? The step-by-step -step guide to luxury lifestyle design teaches how Tim went from 40,000 per year and 80 hours per week to 40,000 per month and four hours per week, how to outsource your life to overseas virtual assistants for $5 per hour and do whatever you want, how blue chip escape artists travel the world without quitting jobs, how to eliminate 50% of your work in 40 hours using the principles of a forgotten Italian economist, how to trade a long haul career for short work first and frequent mean retirements. Whew. Forget the old concept of retirement and the rest of the deferred life plan. There's no need to wait in every reason not to, especially in unpredictable economic, economic times. Whether your dream is escaping the rat race, experience high-end world travel, escaping a monthly five-figure income with zero management, or just living more and working less, this book is the blueprint. And it's earning, not escaping. Earning a monthly five-figure. My bad. I apologize. Popcorn reading was not my thing in high school. I go ahead. But i uh seen a bunch of TikToks in this book uh, while I was looking for books to get. And this book seemed to be the best one of what I want to do. It kind of teaches you how to, like, get out of bad habits, um, what habits to pick up, what good habits to pick up if you wanted to start your own business or if you wanted to work for yourself, be self-employed, be an entrepreneur, so on and so forth. It just gives you so many different ideas and knowledge on how to work for yourself and become your own boss, be, not even your own boss, become passive, basically. Have a business running like a, like a machine and all you gotta do is watch over it. But like you don't even have to watch over it. You have other people watch over it and then you're just the top guy that the guy who's watching over it tells you if something goes wrong, you know? So, because, so that's the goal. And I know I'm yapping a little bit, but this is my channel if y'all don't want to hear me yap, then y'all can just go to a new channel. No cap. Mm, just saying. Thank y'all. Thank you for y'all who want to listen to me. Why is there a pink blanket behind me though? My camera won't stay up right here. I think what a lot of people uh, get wrong, maybe, with trying to be an entrepreneur or trying to be, or have your own business or whatever, is being an entrepreneur is, like, well, I don't even know exactly 100% how to explain what being an entrepreneur is. Like I can't give you a full and detailed thing because I'm not the best knowledgeable on that as well right now. But I know working for myself and being an entrepreneur are two different things. Working for myself is I'm self-employed. Being an entrepreneur is, I think it's owning a bunch of businesses and you don't have to deal with them. And like you, you made it yourself to where you're the boss type deal. But being self-employed is working for yourself. So if I get a business or if I make my clothing brand and I still have to put in 90% of my effort to make the clothing brand work, then I'm just self-employed. You know, if I have to package my own packages, if I have to design every single job myself, hand make it, do all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm just self-employed and I'm working for myself, which is good. I'll make a lot more money because I'm the only person. But being an entrepreneur is the ultimate goal, you know, like having to, like, like I know a bunch of you guys in the clothing brand world or the world of YouTube or whatever. Y'all probably know who Caprice is. He's a 16 year old, whatever, started a clothing brand, whatever, 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 right? His clothing brand is all, not passive, but like he's an entrepreneur. He made a brand, he started off being self-employed and then eventually he got to the point to where now he doesn't have to touch his brand at all, you know? Cause he has like a print on demand shop in somewhere which is pretty dope in the United States where they literally, you order from his site, they print it in the warehouse. He doesn't have to be there, he doesn't have to touch it. And then he just pays the people a small percentage of his profits and then he still takes home a bunch of his profits, you know? So that is the main goal here. That's what I'm shooting for. I have to get in contact with more people and start getting off, start getting off my ass to get this stuff working and rolling because that is the main end goal um, with the clothing brand and with a whole bunch of other stuff as well. I wanna get into real estate as well because the world is like a big monopoly. Like the United States is like a big monopoly game. The more properties you buy up, the more money you'll be able to make every single time somebody lands on your property. And eventually, when they wanna build something, say you have a, say you have a property where, if, anybody, if any of y'all know where Florida is, like the Florida Mall is, if you were to have a property where the Florida Mall was before they built the Florida Mall, they would have bought your property for a lot of damn money. Your property's like value would have went up so high because they want that space to build the Florida Mall. You know what I mean? So like if you had a house right now where they're trying to build an apartment complex, your house value could go super high because 
they want to build right there and that's a great spot for them to build you know so buying land buying property it doesn't even have to be a house it could just be a patch of grass eventually they're going to want to build there somebody's want to build there and they have to come talk to you because you're the owner so it's like a big monopoly game so twenty thousand dollars might be a lot right now but in five ten years that twenty thousand can go up to one hundred thirty thousand one hundred forty thousand fifty you know what i'm saying so just gotta start thinking like that and getting my head in that game in that ball game getting involved in it stop being scary start talking to people start making connections um and yeah because all it takes bro is one step one risk one step one jump one person one thing one time one hour one day one week it takes one thing for your life to change around so today this video might be the time my, my channel turns around you know what i'm saying so we're gonna see about it but i'm gonna stop yapping y'all i'm about to go cook some breakfast uh eggs bacon and a waffle or two waffles um it might not be the healthiest healthiest option right now but i'm explaining to y'all like my whole going into diet plan that i'm trying to get into um after i'm done cooking so i'm gonna get back up with y'all after i'm done cooking type shit So YouTube, this is the eats, eggs, two little waffles, some toast, and then we got two bacon per. You know what I'm saying this is for Marissa. This is for me. You know what I'm saying. And before y'all say anything, I like my waffles to be a little crispy, and I like my toast to be a little crispy. This might be too crispy. I don't know, but we gonna try it out. That one came out not as dark, but you know what I'm saying. And same with these. You know what I'm saying. So yeah. Good at bacon, boom, boom. So, I'm gonna grub here in a second, and I think it's only right to start off the day, start off the journey, start off day one with a little bit of David Goggins, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've seen this thing on TikTok a bunch, so I wanted to try it out and watch it because I've never had, I've seen only a bunch of clips, so put it on the TV. I'm watching that now, about to grub, eat, watch this, and then see what's going on with the day. I think I'm gonna go for a run. If not a run, then I'm gonna go. Uh, workout again for my second workout, but I think I'm gonna go for a run. I'm like 98% sure I'm gonna go on a run, so yeah. I'm gonna keep it updated, but for now, that's what it is. It's 11 16 at the moment now. 11 16, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat. And somebody just got here. Ski! Hey guys. Ah. Yo, look what she did to me, bro. Look at this video, y'all. Only y'all are gonna see this. She's not posting this. Only y'all are gonna see this. Let me see. Huh? I'm Peppa Pig. Oh, this is my little Peppa Pig. I'm Peppa Pig. Oh, this is my little Peppa Pig. I'm Peppa Pig. Oh. You think gotcha. it's so funny. I was like, yeah, babe, just uh, just snort. Like, like, like it's gonna be like, I'm Peppa Pig, and then just like snort. I was like, oh, you can't. And he was like, okay, okay. I was trying to go along. Anyways, y'all, we gotta go to Aldi's or something because he's a big bat, big bat, big bat, big bat. All he does is eat five times a day. So, yeah, we're about to go to um, Aldi's real quick because I'm gonna get some chicken, uh, ground beef, I think, and I need to get a whole bunch of vegetables as well because I'm going to make like meal prep for the week, basically. I'm probably just gonna all cook it. Maybe not today. I'll probably cook it all tomorrow um, to get ready for the week because tomorrow's Sunday, obviously, and get ready for the week like that because not eating out is obviously not like that's not doing that. Obviously, I'm sticking to a meal prep or meal plan or diet or whatever the case is. It's just like right now, even though I just ate, I can still eat more, you know, 
and I don't want to lose weight. I'd rather gain weight than lose weight because I'm already skinny as hell. So I need to figure out what I can implement in between as a healthy snack and then eat the meals at certain times of the day because this is crazy. I, I, I don't know why I feel so, so, so hungry still, even though I already ate like a decent meal, you know? So yeah, we're going to figure it out. Um, I also, I can show y'all. I made a smoothie, right? It has oats, yogurt, banana, peanut butter, and I'm missing something, but I made a smoothie, right? This is it. Nice little smoothie. And I didn't drink it <laughs> because I didn't really like it like that. But that's not the case. You're supposed to eat to live, not live to eat. So I'm going to down it sometime, but not right now. And I'm going to try to make them and down them whenever, but not right now. We're about to go to Aldi's and then I'm going to get pick up the camera then whenever we get to Aldi's to get what we need to get. Probably going to pick up more stuff too because I don't know why, but just always going to grab some else. So yeah, I'm going to pick up the camera whenever we get to Aldi's. So YouTube, as you seen in the last clip, we were at Aldi's. Um, I'm about to show y'all what I got to cook. I'm probably going to cook a meal tonight for a couple days and then tomorrow I'll cook the rest for the more days, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Putting two, two, putting two and two together. Um, but I got these granola bars, little calm snack, protein. Um, there's chocolate in it, but there's protein as well. So more protein than anything. Um, that would be my little cheat snack, I guess you could say, or whatever you want to say, whatever. Um, then I just got ground turkey and chicken. Uh, I think turkey is better than beef. I don't know, not 100% sure. I just believe so. And then some chicken as well. And then I got applesauce, apples to cut up. And then we got mixed vegetables to throw in with rice with these. So I'm planning on doing like chicken, maybe like teriyaki chicken or some type of chicken cut up and it's a little chicken, uh, chicken nuggets basically with rice and some vegetables, and then ground turkey and rice and some vegetables. That's what I'm planning on doing. Um, just quick, easy meals. So I was thinking about getting more. I have to go deeper into my bag when it comes into like this food stuff because I'm not really deep in my bag at all, at all. So I need to learn a little bit more on like what I need to be getting and what I need to be buying. So I can actually buy it and stop wasting money. But I think I got a pretty good thing to start off right now. So. Tonight I'll probably cook the ground turkey and some rice and some vegetables. Like one, one thing in these vegetables and make probably like three or four meals. And then um, tomorrow I'll probably cook the chicken as well. So yeah, this is just the start. It's not crazy, it's day one. So I'm just getting uh, acclimated to this type, you know what I'm saying? And it's currently 2.30. I'm probably gonna sit down for about 30 minutes or whatever. And then we're probably gonna go on a run for my second workout of the day um, to get it over with and then chill for the rest of the night, read the book obviously, and then I also have to set aside 30, 30 minutes to an hour to work on whatever I wanna work on. Uh, I've drunk four water bottles I think already, or maybe three, I think it might be three. We're gonna call it three, cause I'm not gonna cheat myself. So I think I drank three water bottles. So I'm gonna go based off the three. Damn! I'm gonna go based off the three water bottles. So I have five more to drink for the day until I'm at a gallon. But I'm gonna sit down, chill for a little minute, put this stuff away, and then I pick it back up the camera when it's time to run. So YouTube, for y'all it's been like maybe a second, but for me on the other hand, it's been like an hour. You know what I'm saying? And now it's four o'clock on the dot. And do I want to go run? No, no sir, not at all. But is that part of this challenge to say no? No sir. So what we finna do is we finna throw on these shorts, you know what I'm saying? I'm wearing a tank top. I would go no tank top, straight shirt, but it's like 100 degrees outside. So I don't want to um, get more sunburn than I already am because I went to the pool the other day. So I'm going to um, rock out with a tank top on for a little minute until I want to take it off, but do I want to go run? No, not at all. 
Am I gonna go run? Yes, because this is what I signed up for. And I'm gonna love the journey, you know what I'm saying? Um, I haven't ate nothing else. Um, I haven't finished my water bottle either. I think this was the end of my, end of my um, fourth one. I'm not 100% sure, there's two water bottles here, so. But I'm still gonna call it my third, like I said before. Uh, I laid down, I was on my phone for a minute and I knew I was gonna fall asleep. Like I didn't want, I didn't try to, it wasn't my purpose, but I knew I was going to, so I set a timer on my phone for 3.30. Woke up at 3.30 and then I just been sitting here for a second, chilling. But now we're about to go get this work in, man. So I'm not gonna run for too, too, too long. Um, since it's just a day one, I'm gonna go for like a mile, but if I do a mile too, too quick, then I'll run a little bit longer. If, it feel, if I'm feeling it, if I'm not, then my goal is just a mile for today because I haven't ran in a minute. So a mile is probably a lot to start back with, you know, so. Probably gonna run a mile and then just try to get better every single day and the mile will be the blueprint, you know? Not the blueprint, the mile will be like the start, the minimum. So, yeah, so we'll get this working. When I tell y'all it is hot as hell out here, and I do not want to run, bro. It is so hot out here, but that ain't gonna stop the work, baby. So, probably just gonna run a mile, to be honest. I do not want to run, but I'm about to put this camera up. I record a little bit on my phone while I'm running, and then show y'all when I get back how far I ran so I'll be right back probably jump in the pool when I'm back to be honest how, depending on how long it takes but I'll be right back y'all when I tell y'all I am so hurt I am so hurt bruh I don't even know how I would run more than a mile I have no idea at all like, bruh, hope y'all can hear me, but. Nigga, I'm cooked. I've only ran like 0.2 miles, maybe. Like, ran it. Nigga, I've been walking half the time. Like, it's crazy. My chest hurts, legs hurt. Oh my gosh. Uh. Yo, that was the worst run I've ever had. Probably the worst run I've ever had. Let me stop saying that. That was the slowest run I've ever done in my life. I didn't even run, I don't think. Like, I might have walked, crawled, fucking caught an Uber. I don't know what that was, bro. It took me 12 minutes run a mile. I think it has a lot to do with what I eat because I have so many cramps right now, bro. In my stomach, I think it's bad. But my stomach hurts. So I gotta eat your, your fruits and vegetables, kids. Good apple right there. I'm gonna try and give y'all a low, but. Oh, damn. Says one mile, 1.2 miles. I had to scroll down 1.21 miles in 15 minutes. My average pace was 1221. That's terrible. Terrible. But all that means is there's room for improvement, bro. It's about to pour. All that means there's room for improvement, y'all. I mean, it's tomorrow. If I decide to run again for my second workout, I just gotta get faster. But, yeah. Am I proud about that run? Not at all. Oh my gosh. Not at all. 
but it's okay. We're gonna get better every single day. So YouTube, it's currently 9.50 at night now. Um, we had went to this little dinner thing for my grandma and then now went to Walmart, picked up some teriyaki sauce and some soy sauce, whatever. And I'm chefing it up, cooking some, cooking some chicken, teriyaki chicken. She's cutting up some apples for me. So Thank I think we got a smaller knife. So I can start being more healthy. And then um, I'm gonna make rice and all that stuff and peas and vegetables and meal prep for not only the week, like I said, but just for meals throughout the, you know what I'm saying, throughout the week, obviously. But that's pretty much it for the video, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all the chicken when it's done, right on scale one through 10. And then that's pretty much gonna be it. I obviously had to read my video. My video, I had to read my book, obviously. They sit down for an hour or 30 minutes um, aside for whatever I want to do, you know? So I'm probably gonna sit down 30 minutes and design, read my book and then hit the nap. And I've drunk uh, six water bottles so far. I'm on my seventh one. This is my seventh one. Almost done with it. So I'm gonna do that as well. And then we run it back tomorrow. And every video is not gonna be like this. Every video is not gonna be me explaining every single thing that I'm doing. It's just this video because um, it's the first one, you know, it's day one. So I wanna explain to y'all everything that's going on uh, with the challenge, you know? So every single video is obviously not gonna be like this. But I'm whipping it up right now. It's kinda hard to whip it up and whip it up on the camera, you feel me? So give me one second and I'm gonna get back up with y'all. So my brother, what do you rate the chicken on a scale one through 10? Zero. No, I'm just kidding. I give it like an 8.5. An 8.5? Honest answer? Honest. I get it, be like a nine, cause uh, I'm gay, gay. <laughs> wait, wait, pour some of that juice on this one. Looks a little dry. I already put water in. It looks a little dry. <laughs> I'll throw some teriyaki sauce like in that joint. Oh, oh. Yep, yeah. This is what I indeed just cooked. I'm gonna cook some rice and stuff tomorrow because I'm cooking more tomorrow, so it just makes sense to do that. How I'm doing it, so I'm cooking it tomorrow. But this chicken is fire. I think it's actually really good. Try it again, Marissa. Oh, let's try one of this. Try small piece. Bruh. Tell me I'm gonna taste just like the uh, Chinese spot down the road. No. Beef or Brady's. Yes, this should taste just beef like. Beef or Brady's? Not beef, you know what I'm talking about. The one near Beef or Brady's. But yeah, y'all. So that's pretty much it for the video. That's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you haven't already, turn on post notifications. That's subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications. Subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications. And like this video, please comment down below if you haven't already. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video. Gang, gang.